Located in the heart of Mexico City, OMR is known as a cutting-edge contemporary art space, fostering new artistic voices throughout Mexico and Latin America. Kirsten Erdman is the director of this most iconic Mexican art gallery. I walk around and I can probably see a hundred works and only with two or three works in one exhibition I have this special moment. There are some other artists working very politically, which is also something which is affecting us and every day living inside the country where we have a war, so and the drug war and war and violence. Kirsten Erdmann grew up in an artistic village in northern Germany. Art has played an important role in her life since childhood. Fifteen years ago, she went to Mexico for an exchange semester and has stayed ever since. So there are some unique ways in Mexico how people would manage to lose their dreams. Some of the artists I work with, it was impossible for them to go to art school. It is not that you have everything on a plate in front of you, so you have to deal with the situation in your country and you have to really want something because it's not that such a privileged um, situation as we have in Europe. Over the last 30 years, contemporary art has been changing remarkably in Mexico and Kirsten Erdmann passionately aims to spread it all over the globe. From 2005 until, um, until now, many, many new galleries opened their spaces or alternative spaces, independent spaces. So um, Mexico City right now, is, it is, it's really an attraction or a place to be for the international art world, which is very important. The art scene worldwide is not only focusing on Latin American or Mexican art as something exotic. No, it's, it's really part of, of the daily group show. The Mexican government has recognized the value of this creative power growing inside the Latin American country. It is offering artists the unique possibility to remit their taxes in exchange for a piece of their work. Mexicans are very inventive of creating things Sometimes I feel in Europe and people would directly say, well, this is not possible, and here and people are willing to, to find a way to make it work. Julieta Aranda is a Mexican artist based in Berlin. Today, she is visiting Kirsten Erdmann to plan her next installation in Mexico. Julieta left Mexico 30 years ago. Opportunities for artists at that time were scarce. When I left Mexico, it, you had a lot of except, uh, exceptionalism. So there was uh, one or two or three people that had uh, careers, but there was like no, um, no real field where careers could develop. So now it feels that there is some kind of infrastructure in place that allows for the language to develop, for the um, you know, for education to take place, so it, uh, it feels really great. The Mexican art movement is spearheaded by artists like Claudia Fernandez, whose practices blur the boundaries between disciplines. She invites the viewer to participate in the evolution of culture. He hecho video, pintura, instalación, foto, pero ya desde hace más de una década he estado haciendo proyectos que tienen más que ver con lo social o con la naturaleza. Y eh, en esos proyectos el arte no es lo mismo que hacer una pieza, sino provocar cosas a través de, del arte. ¿no? Así como trabajas con un lienzo, una pintura un, o una escultura, Eh, la realidad puede ser material y con eso transformarla a través de, de muchísimas acciones. Her most recent exposition, Ceremony, is presented at the Contemporary Art Museum Tamayo in Mexico City. 
The power of art is everywhere. Mexico's history of Aztecs, Maya, and also um, the muralism. This is a unique power and also how, how people live with, um, with difficult situations around them. It's a country where people live with a, with a minimum of one USD a day. So I feel that in a way um, artists are privileged to, to have the opportunity to do something very creative.